Your reaction? All right, go for it. We're happy. We're ecstatic. We're thrilled. It's about time we get some good news. I mean, you know, my mom has been married five times, and I, I tell her mom, why is it fair? You get to just keep getting married and getting married and getting married, and I haven't been given the chance to get married once, and she's our biggest supporter. Well, we, we, we did so, get married once, and, and we're one of the 18,000 couples that are still married, but, you know, I was thinking, what are you doing? I was pop that ring up there. But, um, I was thinking this morning, because I, I'm the son of a Southern Baptist preacher, and there's so much hatred that is spewed in the name of the Lord against gay, the gay community. And I was thinking, you know, you used to have those bracelets, what would Jesus do? And I was thinking, what would Jesus do? He would probably feed the poor, he would probably clothe people, he would probably help the afflicted, rather than spewing hatred and spending, I read that this, was, this campaign spent more money than any social issue in the history of the United States. There's a lot of Think about all the people that could have been fed. That's just part of change. I'm sure there are people that were upset when slavery ended. I'm sure there are people that were upset, you know, when the many horrific well, of things there ended. Were. Your, your ancestors <laughs> from Mississippi. But, 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 <laughs> but in that, sometimes it takes a, something strong, like having Prop 8 pass to motivate the nation to fight harder, to fight louder, and to fight stronger. And I think we've proven today that you can be defeated in one moment and succeed the next, and you can succeed as a result of the first defeat. I you celebrate every victory along the way, every single one of them we have to celebrate. I say that every day. I live with hope in my heart every single day. I have a 17-year-old daughter and a 20-year-old daughter, and when Prop 8 passed, my little girl said, Daddy, don't worry about it. I said, why? She said, they're all going to die. My generation doesn't care. So Carrie Shores understands. Sorry, Grandma, but that she was talking about you. <laughs>